What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode here at Laser Everything. I'm Kyle and today we're going to be looking at a very small computer for very tight spaces. So if you've got a small workspace that you need a computer to work in, this is the video for you. We're getting started right now. So like I was saying, this is again a very small computer with a very small footprint. It's designed so that you can mount it to the back of a computer monitor. So if a laptop's not really a great fit for you, like it's not always for me, and you just need maybe a larger monitor or you're good with a traditional workspace and you don't want a laptop being in the way and this will take up even less space if you still need that monitor of size, we're gonna take a look and see how it behaves with us and see how it runs our lasers. So we're gonna switch over to a top-down view and do a little unboxing and we'll go from there. All right, so we got our little top-down view here. This is the Minis Forum Desk Mini Series PC, and here are the specs. So this is the UM700 model. It's not the newest kit on the block, but right now it's actually got a great discount going because it is a prior generation Ryzen base here. Now, Minis Forum does have newer stuff available as well if you want something that's a little bit newer. This is more than enough for my needs here. They come in different packages as well. So you can get different levels of storage, different levels of memory, depending on what you need. It also has the ability to add another 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or SSD if you need more storage. The existing SSD in this is an NVMe SSD, so it's going to be faster than a standard 2.5 inch SSD but you can add some more bulk storage if you need it. So if you're on a budget when you first buy this, you can buy maybe like a 256 gig SSD as part of your computer here. And you can always add in like a one or a two or a four terabyte SSD or even just a standard hard drive later. I believe there's a height limitation of seven millimeters. So whatever option you pick to expand with later, just keep that in mind. Double check whichever model you end up picking up. And again, they do have current generation stuff out from both Intel and AMD. So again, depending on your needs, you have some options. Another option that I was really excited to see is the 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. And it's got a decent amount of USBs on it. However, we'll talk about this a little bit later, but I also picked up a powered hub to go along with it as part of a laser operation IO interface for me to get lots of connections for not only the overhead webcam, but also all of the lasers I have here in the shop. So this is going to be kind of a, a little bit of a test for this. We're gonna see how it performs and see if this is maybe a good option for you guys out there who need a dedicated little laser computer or maybe even a little graphics workstation. So we'll see how it performs. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Now I will say the packaging is actually quite nice on this. And I really like the fact that you basically get the same base model and you can configure it however you want because you can get these as bare bones kits from what I understand as well. So if you wanted to pick out your own particular processor or pick out your own RAM kit or your storage solution, you can do that as well, I believe. So far the packaging actually feels pretty great. This is some nice dense foam that they're using. So your items aren't gonna get damaged up in here, which is great. Your typical product guide here, nothing too crazy. Just explaining the different features, how you can mount it on the back of a monitor. And let's go ahead and pull this out. So this is smaller than a Mac mini, that's for sure. So it comes pretty well packaged. We're gonna go ahead and open up this guy here. And here's the front. You have two USB ports on the front here, a USB type C and headphone jack and a power button. So that's fantastic. On the back here, you have your 2.5 gigabit LAN, display port, HDMI, some additional USB and your power in. It's a good amount of ventilation right here, pretty solid. And you also have ventilation in from the bottom here. So that's fantastic. Now it says open from the top by pressing with both hands. So, top just pops right open here so it's pretty easy to get into you can see the ram right on the top you have your nvme ssd here on the side but yeah it's, it's pretty easy to double check get into easy to upgrade the ram so that's fantastic so i'm going to go ahead and close this back up now before i do that you'll notice the top here so that's where we can install our two and a half inch drive so if you needed more storage you could add either an ssd or even a spinning hard drive with the prices of ssds coming down these days it would be pretty easily justified to just grab a, a cheap two and a half inch ssd and it appears there's a sata port right back here that white port right there 
So when you're ready to expand, it's pretty easy to get into everything and get set up. So no hassles there. Back in first, and then the front clips in nice. Let's see what else we have here in this box. So we should have, yep, we have our power adapter, a little power brick. We have our SATA and power adapter for the SSD or hard drive if we opt to upgrade. We have our display port cable. We have an HDMI cable and we have a VESA bracket with screws included. So if we decide to mount this onto the back of a monitor, we can leave the standard monitor arm on the monitor and we can just put this on the VESA bracket on the back of the monitor. So that's fantastic. That'll help keep it up and out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and get these out of the way and we're gonna get this plugged in and set up. So we'll see you in just a minute here. We're gonna get Lightburn installed and test it out with a couple of lasers. All right, so now that we have Windows up to date, I'm just gonna go ahead and get Lightburn installed since that's gonna be our primary test here. If you didn't know this, you can download and install Lightburn and use it free for 30 days and test it out in every possible way with your laser in case you don't know if it'll work with your laser or if you need to troubleshoot to see why it might not communicate with your laser, if it's listed as compatible or just to see if you like it. And since I'm gonna be testing this with my CO2 gantry and also all the Galvo machines in the shop, we're gonna make sure we install all the drivers. So those are gonna get prompted to pop up here now as well. And again, we're using the start our free trial here. Now, if you need help getting set up with devices or anything in the setup process of Lightburn, go ahead and check out either the Lightburn for Gantry or Lightburn for Galvo crash courses, depending on what you're looking for. We're not gonna cover that here, but let's go ahead and get into testing. Now, this isn't a PC reviewing channel by any means, but with everything connected, working, everything's been great. We've used this for now two weeks operating our lasers here in my shop and everything's gone without a hitch. So we're gonna go ahead and move along here to some B-roll so you can see how those projects went. Thanks everybody for checking out this video on the little laser PC here, the minis form unit that we went ahead and checked out. Worked great for our purposes with the lasers here behind me. I'm gonna be moving it over to a dedicated laser workbench not attached to this computer. So again, worked great for everything we've done so far. Handled light burn no problem. Handled multiple instances of light burn no problem. And yeah, it's great if you maybe don't have room to leave a laptop on your little workbench, but you have enough room to maybe mount a monitor up off your desk and use a little wireless Bluetooth keyboard and mouse perhaps, gives you some options, some flexibility. And in some cases, that's exactly what we need. Now, I know a lot of other people in the community have tried out this PC or even similar PCs from either this brand or other little mini PC brands. Leave a comment below, let people know how you use it, how you hook it up and how it's working for you. That way there's more options out there for everyone. We'll leave a link to this unit in the description below, as well as some other units that they may offer. And if you like this content, check out the Laser Master Academy. It's how our channel is supported. It allows us to create this content for everybody to enjoy, and it allows us to do it across our team. So please check that out if you're up for it. If you need support or help on anything with lasers or anything else that we do, check out the other communities as well, Discord and Facebook. The community is fantastic, and the moderators are also fantastic and everyone's there to help each other out. So go ahead and check those out as well. And if you're interested in some more unboxings, if you can't tell, I have a lot more boxes behind me here. So we'll see you soon with some more interesting stuff and upgrades. Thanks for watching this episode. We'll see you in the next one.